What's going on guys, Josh here and I'm back with another video. Now just as we thought we were out of the woods and adapted to the whole iOS 14 issues with Facebook and attribution and all that kinds of stuff, now Apple have gone and launched another update on privacy. And now this particular update, iOS 15, is actually affecting our email marketing efforts. Now in this video, we're gonna be going through exactly the changes that is happening that are expected to roll out in autumn or fall in September 2021 and also what we can expect in terms of the changes to email marketing and also what we can be doing to make sure we adjust and really be prepared for this change that's coming. So if you guys are new here, my name is Josh and I'm a seven figure entrepreneur who loves all things productivity, e-commerce and personal finance. So sit back, relax and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so what is iOS 15 and why should we be paying any attention to it? So iOS 15 pretty much is rolling out additional privacy options that consumers can use. And this is great, right? In terms of overall privacy, we should be in control of our data. But for us as email marketers or e-commerce entrepreneurs, it feels a little bit more like this. Bruh. Now, there are three main features that are coming in terms of privacy that we should really be worried about. And that is mail privacy protection, hide my email, and also private relay. Now I wanna break down each of these one by one just to give you an idea of what these are and why you should care about them. Okay, so the first update coming from the iOS 15 rollout is mail privacy protection. Now what this is gonna allow Apple users to do is when they're using the mail app, it's going to prevent the email service providers like Klaviyo to use invisible pixels that's embedded in their emails to pretty much track any action that they take on the email, whether it be opening the email, clicking on any of the links, or getting data regarding their geographical location. Now the second update from the iOS 15 rollout is hide my email. Now what this is this is gonna allow users to do is pretty much whenever they're signing up for any of the pop-ups or opt-ins on our product pages or lead capture pages or anything like that, Apple users will actually be able to use like a middleman email address that will automatically be generated and submit that email address, right? And any email that comes to that middleman email address will automatically be routed to their main email address. Now what this does is pretty much protect protects the user from having to divulge their main email address. Now this is huge guys. It's huge for the customers, but it's really bad for us. And we're gonna talk about this in just a moment, but let's go straight into the third update of the iOS 15 rollout. Now the third and final update of the iOS 15 rollout is Private Relay. Now this is Apple's own version of a VPN. Pretty much what it allows users to do is when they're using this function, right? It's pretty much masking their IP address. So therefore, if think about when you're running email campaigns and you're specifically catering the emails towards certain characteristics of a person based on their location, right? This is going to take away that functionality. And this is gonna take away that power from us. Right, but protect the end user's overall location. Now I'm gonna link Apple's official documentation about all of these changes down below, okay, in the description. So just make sure you, if you wanna look at it in your own time, um, be sure to do that. It's really important to be aware of this kinds of stuff. But if it's too long, didn't read it, just have a look at this video. Make sure you stay till the end because we're gonna be touching on so many important parts. Okay, so now that we talked about the actual changes that are coming with this iOS 15 update, I guess the question that we are left with is, okay, well, how does this affect our email campaigns and why should I even care? Well, we should care for a few different reasons and four specifically that I wanna to touch on. The first one is the capability of our email campaigns to be able to be resent to certain segments. Now, the second one is the abilities to actually clean our email lists. And the third one is the overall quality of the email campaigns that we run, right, for holidays and all that kinds of stuff. Now, the last one is specifically catered to our automations and our email flows. I'm gonna break that down one by one for you right now. Okay, so the first one that I wanna really touch on is the recent campaigns and how this is gonna be affected with this iOS 15 update. Now what's gonna happen is, if you guys remember, I've talked about it in previous videos, I'm gonna link it for you right here, where whenever we run a sale, right? Every six weeks we run a sale and we always email our customers, right? So we might send our first initial email to multiple thousands of people, but a couple hours later or 24 hours later, I will actually go ahead and create a segment in which I tell Clavio, hey Clavio, why don't you find me out of the 
many thousands of people who didn't actually open or who didn't engage with that first email. Now that what that does is allows us to recapture some additional income for that holiday period because often what happens is people are just too busy, right? Or maybe the headline that I first used in my first initial email just wasn't congruent enough or it wasn't eye-catching enough for them to actually have a look at my deal and take me up on my offer. Pretty much this iOS 15 update coming into play and masking any kind of action or open or click that customers do on my emails. When I try to segment and resend a campaign for those that are non-openers, it's pretty much going to decrease Increase the overall efficiency of that resend campaign and that resend marketing effort. This is a big problem for us because when we do these resend campaigns, we always are able to claw back multiple thousands of dollars just with a single email. And that can equate anywhere up to 50 to 100 new customers or repurchases over that holiday period. That's a huge deal for us guys. Now the second one is related to list cleaning. Now this leads me to my second point, which is limited list cleaning ability. Now what this means is, if you guys have an email list, right? People are opting in every single day. You should understand that not all email opt-ins are made equal. Some of them are going to be your high quality prospective buyers, but some of them are actually going to be those that are just tire kicking, right? They're just here to have a look, not really wanting to buy. And to be honest, we don't want to waste any time on those kinds of people. So what we do is every couple months, we do a list cleaning exercise, which we tell Clavio, hey, why don't you segment out this huge list and tell me who has not opened or clicked on any of my emails in the last three months? Now, any of those people that have not clicked or opened any emails in the last three months, I want you to label them as an unengaged segment in my email list. Now, when we run campaigns, we're actually not going to be sending it to our unengaged. We're only going to be sending our main sale campaigns to those that are super engaged with our brand. Now, this leads me to my third point of decreased overall campaign efficiency. Now, what this means is similar to the first one. If we can't properly segment our email list, what this is going to do is when we run our sale campaigns and we run our email campaigns, right? Because our lists have not been cleaned effectively because of this new iOS 15 masking of their IP addresses or whether or not they're taking a certain action. What this means is we're going to be sending our emails, our sale emails to those that are not engaged. So overall, our income or our revenue numbers or our click through rates, open rates, all of those kinds of things will eventually see a decrease or so I think. Now remember this is all speculation but based on the iOS 15 updates I don't see any reason why our income would increase from our emails. If anything they'll decrease. Now our final point is our automations and our flows right. Now if you guys understand automations and flows in email pretty much what triggers an automation or a flow is a certain action that a customer or a user takes on our website or on our back end email marketing funnel. Now what happens is if iOS 15 rolls out and certain actions are blocked or certain IP addresses or v you know they're using a VPN or all those kinds of things, we can't see a lot of the data that you know of the actions that they're taking because attribution is going to be affected. Therefore, overall our quality of our flows in terms of the ROI that it generates and all those kinds of things, I can expect that these would decrease as well. Now I know what you're thinking. It sounds like, oh man, now Facebook ads just died and you know, that's the end of Facebook ads. And now, now it's the death of email. No, not necessarily, right? I would say that it is still too early to tell. I'm sure that people like Clavio, you know, email service providers like Clavio are not going to allow email to die. And to be honest, email is never going to die, right? Neither is Facebook because our users are going to still use email and our users are still going to use Facebook. So what do we do now? What I would recommend is what I've always been recommending on this channel and also on my videos. And that is to treat the human being who is potentially going to buy your product on the other side of the screen as a human being. Think about it yourself. If you were to go and buy something, you would want to have a really good customer experience. Now, what we need to do is really focus on the customer experience 
experience? How are we going to provide value to them? How can we really develop deep rooted relationships with our customers so that when they think of a certain niche, they think of our brand right at the top, right? They, we stay top of mind. How can we do that? Now, do we need to make a more elaborate marketing plan? Yes, definitely, right? And I think this is going to be more and more important as we progress to a cookie-less world with attribution issues on Facebook, attribution e issues on Google, and now email. This is the only way forward, right? And those that don't adopt and those that continue to see their customers as just dollar signs and you know their fast-tracked way to a Lamborghini, those are the types of people that are going to give up and really, really crash and burn in this industry. Industry. Now, my next point is one that's kind of always been talked about, but I think now it's becoming more important than ever before. And that is really focusing on your offer. Similar to my first point of really creating that value and also creating that relationship with your customers, how can you really formulate the best offer, you know, that godfather offer that these people cannot refuse. If they love your product or if they have a certain pain point, what is the offer that you can offer them, right? So that they can no longer refuse. So that is something that you really need to kind of sit back, have a think about and really kind of figure out right? Because if you don't have a good offer, it doesn't matter what kind of attribution issues you're having or not, you're not going to be able to sell anything through a marketing funnel. So that's my second point. And my third point really quickly is that right now, right? We know that iOS 15 is coming. Our emails are going to be affected because Apple users are going to have more control over their privacy than ever before. So what do we do? Right now is the time to act in terms of email. If you guys don't have robust email sequences, if you guys don't have a robust email marketing back end, now is the time to really focus in on that. Why wait until you can't see any data? Because right now, open rates, click through rates, all of those kinds of things, AB split testing, you can still do all of those things without much hindrance of attribution. So what you should be doing is really, really building out a robust formula right now, a, a robust ecosystem right now. You should be looking at how you grow your your list? How can you get as many people on your email list as possible prior to the iOS 15 rollout where people can actually use alias email addresses? From now till fall, right? So around September, we're guessing, is the time to act, okay? So what is it now? It is July, August, September. You have two months. You need to really build a robust system to get as many emails as possible and nurture them. Let them know about your brand. Make sure that you have their email addresses and you keep them and build that trust really quickly so that when iOS 15 actually rolls out, they're not going to mask their data from you. They're not going, they're gonna be able to trust your business. They're gonna wanna keep coming back. They're gonna like you. Now, the final point that I want want to make is it's going to be okay. You and I, we are e-com entrepreneurs or we're just entrepreneurs, right? And entrepreneurs, our mission should be to provide as much value to our fellow human beings. So any problems that come ac we come across are not going to be big enough to make us stop what we're doing, right? Maybe we want to achieve the life of our dreams. We want to have financial freedom, all these kinds of things. Those pursuits or those drives should be strong enough to allow you to push past all of these attribution issues, all of these problems, all of these hurdles that every single entrepreneur faces, honestly. Now, you and I, we are in this together. We're in this, in the same problem. You know, we're all going to face the same problems at the same time. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you comment. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comments and let's have a discussion. Okay, because you and I are going to get through it together. Okay, everything is going to be okay. We will persevere. We will prevail over this. Okay, so that is all the time that we have for today. I wanted to just leave on that positive note because you are worth it. You are going to do a great thing in this world. And I just want to give you guys that confidence. I know that it sounds like it's very doom and gloom, but it's not. Okay. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on this journey and let's really smash this together. Thank you so much for persevering through this video. I know it was a lot and I'll catch you guys in the next one, guys. Bye for now.